In this overview, we will explore the basic functions and features of your new Cisco video phone. Video-enabled phones give the user the option to see the person on the other end of the line using a built-in camera. Why have a video phone, you ask? Studies show that some 70% of communication is nonverbal. Video calls enhance understandability, quality of communication, and trust between the callers. Let's get started by taking a look at the layout of the phone. This Cisco model phone features a traditional handset and keypad, but also adds a screen, session buttons, soft keys, and four-way navigation buttons. The buttons located around the screen have different functions, depending on if the user is dialing in the middle of a call or participating in a video call. Located above the keypad, the release button ends a connected call. The back button returns to a previous screen or menu. The feature buttons, located to the left of the keypad, access voicemail, open applications and settings, allow the user to access our campus directory, and adjust volume. The buttons on the right hand side allow us to hold a call, transfer a call, or conference in multiple callers. Lastly, the sound buttons let us transfer the call to a Bluetooth headset, use speakerphone, and mute the handset and microphone. Placing a call works just like a phone you're used to. If the phone on the other end of the line is video enabled, a video link will be established automatically. To disable video, gently twist the camera to close the shutter. Now, let's make a call. A call is initiated by picking up the handset and dialing, or starting to dial first and then picking up the handset. If a call is initiated without using the handset, the phone will default to speakerphone. To answer an incoming call, pick up the handset, press the speaker button for speakerphone, or use the answer soft key underneath the screen. Use the decline soft key to redirect a call to voicemail. To hold a call, press the hold button or use the hold soft key. Simply press either button again to resume the call. To transfer a call while holding, press the transfer feature button or use the soft key. Dial the recipient's number and press transfer again. Conference calls are placed while in a call with a participant. Press the conference feature button or the conference soft key and enter a participant's phone number. When the phone starts ringing, press the conference feature button again. Repeat these steps to add more participants. During a conference call, use the show detail soft key to view or remove participants. At any point during a call, use the volume buttons to adjust the volume of the caller's voice. When not in a call, the volume buttons will adjust the ringtone volume. Use the Do Not Disturb soft key to block all calls and divert them to voicemail. If you are going on vacation or are otherwise out of the office, press the Forward All soft key and enter a target phone number, for example, your cell phone number, and all calls are then forwarded to that number. If you have any missed calls, an icon will show up on the screen indicating how many. Use the soft key to view them. If you have cleared your missed calls, the soft key will show the most recent calls. Checking voicemail is easy on our video phone. If we have a voicemail, the red voicemail icon will show up on the screen and the handset will glow red. Simply press the voicemail button to the left of the keypad or use the soft key on the screen to access your voicemail. Enter the four digit pin and press the pound key. You can't remember your pin or need to change it. Use your computer and visit voicemail.wfu.edu. Go to settings, passwords, and then change your PIN. Now, let's look at the directory function. Press the directory button to the left of the keypad, choose corporate directory, and use the keypad to enter a first or last name. Use the bottom left soft key to search, and then dial. Notice how the soft keys change depending on our screen. To adjust settings on the phone, such as wallpaper, ringtones, and more, Press the gear button to access applications and settings. 
Scroll using the four-way navigation keys and the select button. Compatible Bluetooth headsets are connected using the Bluetooth app. Thanks for watching. For more information, feel free to reference the Telecom Basics page on our website. If you have further questions, please contact the service desk at help at wfu.edu or 336-758-4357.